So a commonly used rating is the STC rating. So this is the sound transmission class. It's important just to know this because if you are looking at certain materials that you're going to pick up, they might have an STC rating. They might also have an NRC rating, which is a noise reduction um, classification. The higher the STC rating, the better the barrier is at stopping sound. So if you wanted to pick up a wall panel and it has a high STC rating um, or NRC rating, then it's better at kind of trapping that sound. There's also STC uh, rating requirements for, say, you're designing like a multifamily house. There's actually code requirements for uh, what the wall rating is between two different units to help make it a comfortable acoustic space. So SDC ratings represent the ideal sound loss under laboratory conditions. So they develop these numbers in labs where everything is controlled. So, you know, in, in the real world, you know, it might be a little bit different. That's why I say here theoretically, because it might be a little bit different in the real world, but it's a good kind of basis for understanding what the sound is gonna be like. But this is really important. Breaks in the barrier significantly reduce noise reduction. So what does this look like? This is like little cracks or seams in a wall um, electrical outlets, even doors and windows. So this diagram just shows you could have a really amazing interior space, but if you have, you know, even outlets or pipes or louvers and doors or windows, um, even little niches and stuff, those are all going to be factors in how sound transmits through the space. So Again, just something to kind of think about, like if you are designing a music studio, how do you handle that? Like, how do you get light in there, but also keep it so that the quality of sound is really good in there? Some materials can create acoustical holes. So again, if you think of these as kind of like sound holes or, or areas where sound can penetrate really easily. And and often it, the sound holes happen when you have very low or very high frequencies. Those are just kind of in with anything, they're just kind of hard to control. So, you know, you kind of do your best, but definitely the acoustic holes happen when you have those frequencies. And then um, the STC value is generally an ad adequate, adequate rating. So again, like it's never going to be the exact same as a controlled lab setting, but it's usually an adequate rating that we can kind of take to like, you know, rely on essentially.